Hey guys, welcome back to MJ Forever, your go-to spot for all things Michael Jackson. Today, we're delving into a side of the king of pop that's both mysterious and downright fun. His most bizarre disguises. Ever wondered how Michael Jackson managed to blend into the crowd with some of the quirkiest outfits ever? Well, you're in for a treat. Stick around as we explore and giggle our way through Michael Jackson's most bizarre disguises. Trust me, it's a journey you won't want to miss. Before we jump into the magic, make sure to hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, and let's keep the MJ love going strong. Now let's uncover the secrets behind those strangest disguises. Are you ready? Let's do this. Even though being famous had some good parts, it made things hard for Michael Jackson. He always worried about fans crowding him wherever he went. Simple stuff like going to a bookstore, supermarket, or just being in public needed a lot of planning and tight security. When he wanted to go shopping, the store had to close just for him, and it happened a lot. He basically couldn't freely leave his hotel room. That's why he often used different disguises, and they work differently each time. I do disguises for different reasons. I like to study people. I like to be a fly on the wall, even if it's two old ladies sitting on a bench or some kids on a swing, because I don't know what it's like to fit into an everyday life situation, Michael said. Michael Jackson's first ever public appearance wearing a disguise was when he went out to enjoy a concert with his girlfriend, Tatum O'Neill, in 1982. Tatum, who was said to be Michael's first girlfriend, went to a Cool and the Gang concert with Michael, who was wearing a bushy beard and a huge afro as a disguise. Michael did not want to be spotted at the concert, so he called Rick Backer, an Oscar-winning special effects artist, to help put on the facade. The disguise made Michael look a lot older and so different that no one could recognize him at the concert. After that, Michael made several public appearances with blissful anonymity wearing disguises. The King of Pop resorted to a wide variety of disguises throughout his life. Sometimes it used to be to save himself from fans, and other times to get close to them without being recognized. Once Michael, wearing a torn shirt and a pair of dirty shoes, buck teeth, and an afro, was spotted in a record store masquerading as a beggar. Michael even accepted wearing disguises on record in an interview, and confessed that he wore bat suits, glasses, buck teeth, prosthetics, makeup, etc. At times to be in the audience and experience what it feels like. This fascination with altering his own appearance and how it changes the way he experiences the world around him was reflected in his work with music videos like Thriller and Ghosts, as well as his changing appearance over the years to come. Nonetheless, Jackson disguises were not always as convincing as they used to be earlier. He was once spotted in California at a gift shop wearing a wig, stick-on mustache, and fake teeth, a disguise so shabby that it gave him away. Jackson's disguises became less convincing and more bizarre with time. He often wore masks, scarves, and even heaps of fabric on his face. Michael was once even seen wearing a black veil in Bahrain. Wearing unconventional disguises eventually led him to try cross-dressing in 2006. At a mall in Bahrain, most folks believed he was a covered-up person in a black veil. With gloves and glasses, he looked like an affluent, caring Saudi mother, patiently selecting children's shoes, clothes, and toys at mother care. In a Bahrain mall, people thought a person in a black veil, gloves, and glasses was a wealthy Saudi mom shopping for kids' stuff at mother care. A sharp-eyed assistant, noticing men's shoes, silently guessed it was Michael Jackson. Trying to avoid attention, Jackson moved to a shoe store, where a salesman believed he was aiding a wealthy Saudi woman. As word spread, the crowd grew, and a quick escape plan had to be hatched. Wrapping scarves around the children's faces, Jackson was led through a back door, avoiding the packed entrance in Starbucks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share the MJ love, and of course, subscribe for more MJ magic on MJ Forever.